So, you might have asked yourself the question, just how big is a Deltic engine? Well, over the last six or eight months, I decided I'd uh, try to draw a full-size Deltic cutaway here. And uh, might be able to spot uh, four inches on tire up there and stuck in an intake manifold. I'm just going to move the camera down here. I'll show you that on the bottom left is a two-liter pop bottle. So, as you can see, the, the Deltic engine is... Of elephantine proportions. I'll just walk into the frame here to show you. I'm about 5'11. So uh, you can see the top of an exhaust manifold well above my head. And uh, there's Zontar there. So <clears throat> got a tape measure here set for 5 and an eighth inch. That's the uh, bore of the cylinders. See here you got a piston and a piston, a big long connecting rod going to the crankshaft here. Another crankshaft over here, and then crankshaft at the bottom. Connecting rods, connecting rods. Now, this shape of port here, the double ports are intake ports, and then the one to the outside of the engine is the exhaust port. Same thing over here, intake ports, exhaust port, intake, exhaust. And uh, this is uh, an oil drain back passage here. I, uh, Kind of ran out of time on this. Um, haven't got one drawn over here, but there's lots of details missing. I don't have the the injection uh, pumps would fit in here to inject fuel into the cylinders, uh, etc. Same thing over here. So those of you who aren't familiar with the Delta, it's a three crankshaft uh, engine, uh, posed pistons. So the pistons come together, and uh, two stroke fires every time, and it's supported by. Uh, just, uh, you can see them down here, I got them drawn in, but you might not be able to see them. Uh, just ports in the, uh, right through the cylinder wall. So there's no uh, camshafts or poppet valves or anything like that. It's just piston ported two stroke. But, uh, I'll point out another dimension. Across the crankcase covers here is uh, in the order of 14 and a half inches from here to here. These are what look like on a normal V8 to be uh, rocker uh, covers, but they're, they're actually crankshaft covers. You take that off and you can access the, the crankshaft and the connecting rod bolts, that type of thing. So uh, I'll take the camera off of the, the mount there. So I'll just give you a dimension here approximately. So it's approximately five foot six inches wide and six foot three inches tall somewhere in that uh, neighborhood there hoping it shows up on the video it's, uh, you can see here if you get closer to it like I say this crankshaft cover here is 14 inches and you can see the big connecting rods there's the center of the crankshaft there connecting rods following the circle so it's a seven and a quarter inch circle uh, times two. So they give it a 14 and a half inch effective stroke uh, between the two crankshafts and five and one eighth inch uh, cylinder bore. Here's the intake manifold here and here. And then, uh, well, we fall it over here on this one. Exhaust manifold, um, water cooled. Got the water jacket on the exhaust manifold there since they're mainly used in uh, torpedo boats uh, as well as uh, later on in trains uh, connecting rods coming down there pistons and uh, down there another exhaust manifold bottom uh, crankshaft back up see here I've got the it's a little bit hard to see in the lighting but I got the intake ports drawn in there that I'd say about an inch and a half tall from the looks of it and then uh, over here would be your back up a little exhaust ports would be in this area here they just feed out this direction to the exhaust whereas the intakes are all the way around the cylinder a little boo-boo there had to use some white out and stuff but so anyway that uh, shows you how big a, a full-sized deltic engine is it's a, a rather large beast So, uh, just while I'm on the subject of uh, Deltics there, actually, yeah, you know, root Deltic name there. Um, so this is the 70th uh, kind of anniversary, in effect, of when they started uh, 
drawing the uh, Deltic engine. I guess it would have been 1946 uh, when they first commenced uh, drawing it. Um, they made the first unit was just uh, two crankshafts, like one one unit like that, and they. No, sorry, I'm wrong. It was a whole flat unit like this, three crankshafts, and uh, just to test out the gearing and all that type of thing on it. So, but anyways, so 70th anniversary of the Deltic, and I believe there's actually, hopefully, going to be a book uh, published uh, sometime this year on the the Deltic engine and the developments of it and that. So, looking forward to that. So oh, just want to show my uh, colored in cross section of the Deltic engine there. Shows you the intake pistons are in blue and the exhaust in red. And these are three crankshafts on it there. And uh, so Deltics come in various sizes. Here you can see my my ultra mini Deltics here. And they're about an inch long, magnetic. And we got a ultra mini baby Deltic turbocharged intercooled and, uh, turbocharged so uh, as you can see these uh, these little tiny guys here pale in comparison to the real thing considering you know you got this crankshaft there so well, just hope that that uh, gave you an idea of how big a real Deltic engine is. Yeah, I forgot to zoom in on my uh, my latest Deltic there, the the uh, turbo compounded Deltic. So this one isn't quite uh, fully painted or anything yet. This is the one they got up to 5,600 horse before it broke a con rod.